Oh yeah, this build is insane. Hey, my name is Axel, I'm a huge Gundam fan and I decided to build the gun tank in Armored Core 6. While this isn't a perfect one-to-one -one creation from the anime, I believe I'm very close. I'll go over how to build a gun tank, the pros and cons of the build, and finish with my ratings and some footage of the gun tank kicking ass. Alright, so here's how you actually build a gun tank. Double miniguns, double songbirds, whatever head and arms you want, but I picked the Melander B3 and the Mine Alpha. The chest is a Tianquan, the legs are probably the most important part of the build, and you can only get that after beating the Act 2 Spider Boss. You can get everything else besides the treads after Act 1, but you'll need the Act 2 ending in order to get the 4th Lanza tread, and these treads is probably the best legs in the game so far for me. They are fast, relatively light, and have a really good load capacity despite being faster than most medium bipedal legs in the game. Every problem that you have with the heavy tread is solved with the Fortalanza. Follow the treads up with the Abbott FCS for extreme close range target tracking and then the VP20S generator. We go for the close range tracking because in Gun Evo, Gun Tank is an auto tracker character, and plus this is just good for the miniguns. For the expansion, I go for the assault armor, but you can easily go for the pulse armor. When selecting OS upgrades, go for the assault kick because you'll be decently heavy, and then go for repair kit upgrades. Let's see the side by side comparison. I can replace the miniguns with a pair of shotguns for anime accuracy, but honestly the dual gats work better in game. Now here's what the gun tank is good at. The gun tank is exceptional at killing bosses. The double songbirds put out a lot of outstanding damage with huge stagger value. If you land the shoulder cannons on weak points, most early bosses will be staggered with a little bit more minigun fire. With the minigun tracking, you're also able to build out a lot of stagger on enemies at close range with little input from you. Here's what it's bad at though, you're going to be burning through a lot of ammo and that is going to cost you a ton of money. However, do you really care about money if you get through the mission? Of course not. Look, it's going to take you $100,000 most of the time to get through a mission in ammo, but it's probably worth it if you're car stuck on a boss and I highly recommend the gun tank if you are not so good at the game but still want to have fun. Now, a huge advantage of the Fortalanza thread is that it is insanely fast. The ground speed is probably on par with some of the extremely light builds on the ground while having really good defensive value. I run circles around most bosses, but when I get hit, I don't melt like a lightweight build. In fact, you can see the gun tank tanking boss hits like a champ, and it has a surprising amount of stagger resistance. The gun tank is extremely balanced for PvE, and it kind of works in PvP as well because it tracks well and hits hard. I usually rack up really good damage points, even on PvP losses. However, I do have to put in as a disclaimer, this is an early game build, so you're not going to be able to match up with some of the late game PvP stuff like the coral weapons and all the funnels and stuff like that that are getting crazy in PvP right now. I haven't quite finished the game yet, but I've been in a lot of bosses and arena builds so far with the gun tank. It's relatively easy to play, and you'll be able to tank a lot of damage and stagger the boss in return. After you get the Fortalanza treads, you'll actually be able to dodge the big hits from bosses, too. So the only really problem that I have with this build is that it lacks a little bit in the anti-air compartment. The anti-air capabilities are sort of mid, the minigun do fine against floaters, but you'll never be able to hit a songbird or the, the grenade launchers on the back against an aerial target, unless they're really, really fucking big. I'll rate this build a 10 out of 10, at least for the early game, you'll be able to farm very easily with this build, and it's a beginner-friendly build. You'll be able to hold down the trigger buttons to put down a lot of lead down range and then fire the cannons when they are staggered. It's a simple, simple build and it's very effective for what it does. I hope you try it out for yourself.
All right then. So to end here, here are the winners of the second Black Fighters Discord Gunpla Photo Contest. The winner of the epic category goes to Professor T and the Curios in Space. The winner of the funny category is Havim with Professor News Gundam's lecture. The winner of the quality category is Matt 7 with the Zeta Gundam Verka. Thank you for watching the video. Make sure to get plenty of water, touch some grass, and I'll see you next time. Ciao.